Hey, I'm Jamie. This is a video to show you how to use the Airwave wizard within the controller to configure the controller in order to be added to Airwave. We will then get in Airwave and perform a network scan in order to add the controller to Airwave. So now, let's, uh, in, if you have an Airwave server set up, that's great. If not, it's okay too. But right now we're going to, uh, we're going to set up the Airwave server. So let's go to configuration. We're going to let me backtrack. We're going to um, use the wizard for this as well. So in the upper left here, this is the wizard menu. Let's select the airwave. Well, there we go. So here, let's. Um, it's already got the address in there of of my airwave server. You'll notice it's in a completely different subnet than than what we added to the controller. That's just because our server is in a different VLAN, and I had to. Uh, put some routes in place but hopefully yours is in the, uh, the same VLAN so let's hit next and this is the community string this is what Airwave will use to communicate with the controller so we're going to use Aruba123 and let's hit next and we'll hit next again and this finishes it up so let's while we're writing let's go to Airwave And here's the dashboard. So we need to define some scan sets. So let's go to device setup. And these are all the different parameters that, that it will look for. So first let's add a let's add a new network. Call this lab test and it will be one on two dot. And then the mask. Let's add it. So now let's add a new credential. This will be the community string. That was V2. All right, and let's add that. So now let's add a new scan set. This is a combination of what we just added. So we want to scan the lab test network which is the 192.168.25.0 and we want to use the credentials of lab test and let's add this now let's select the little checkbox and then let's scan this network now this can take a few seconds but while we're waiting I'm going to go plug in an access point Okay, so let's check back in on this. So perfect, it found some new devices. So let's check and see what the what this is. Hopefully it's the controller. Perfect. So here's the controller we just configured. So let's select this guy. And we're going to select the group. Let's put it in the controllers group. And then we'll put it in the the lab folder. And we're only going to monitor this. We don't want to do any configuration. So click Add. And yes, I want to use this baseline config as the config for this folder or for this group. So let's change this to yes. Continue. And let's apply changes now. You see that the device went down. And it's back up. And when it comes back up, we will see the access point. So let's do the same thing. We're going to add it to the access points folder. We'll do the same thing. Test lab and add. And it will ask you, yeah, for the AP group, just auto detect, continue, and apply changes now. 
Okay, while we're waiting on that, let's go back to the controller right quick. So, I added another AP. And well, it's already up. Perfect. So let's go provision this access point. So here, it's this 125. So, let's select it. And let's put it in the Airheads Lab group. test 125 and then let's reboot it and all writing we'll go back to airwave let's refresh airwave and then hopefully we can go to this controller oh, let me get there Down here is the controller we just added. And let's pull this device. We'll give it a few seconds and wait on the AP to hopefully come back up. Okay, we'll just pull it. Go ahead and do that. refresh button and see where we stand. Okay, so you see the other AP, it, it has came back. And we're still waiting on the on the 125 we just provisioned. I guess this is the whole watch pot never boils scenario. I can see the AP, it's just taking its time. Okay. So let's try this one more time. Radio lights just fired up, so we're good to go. So it's polling. Let's give it another second. And look, we have a new device. So let's do the same thing. I'm going to add this to the Airheads Test Lab folder under the Access Point group. Let's, well, same thing, monitor. Let's add that. Auto detect, we want that. And let's do it now. And there it goes, it's down. And give it a second. I have to go back and pull the controller. I think we will. So let's get in here. And then be impatient. <laughs> and it's back up. Perfect. So that is how you add a add a new controller to Airwave using the the Airwave wizard within the controller.